Can I wear these socks? Does this pair of socks match my outfit? Sounds familiar? Don't worry, you're not alone. When it comes to classic menswear, it definitely takes some trial and error to fully understand how to match your socks to your outfit. But you're in the right place. After this video, you're going to have a much better understanding on pairing your socks to your outfit. Let's go. And before I get into that, there are some rules that you need to be aware of when it comes to matching your socks to your outfit. Number one, which is one of my pet peeves, do not wear athletic socks with your suits. I know I said this in my last video, but come on! Just look at it. It literally looks like your parents dressed you up for primary school. No offense. Number two, wearing socks with the right length. Don't get me wrong, there's definitely a time to wear low cut socks, but a formal event is not one of it. Aside from exposing your hairy calves to everyone, wearing low cut socks is actually very uncomfortable. So if you're buying socks for a more formal or a business event, opt for socks that are over the calf so you don't have to worry about your socks dropping down to your ankles. Number three, know the difference between bold socks and novelty socks, aka crazy socks. In simple terms, bold socks offer simple patterns with different colors while novelty socks offers crazy prints like marijuana leaves or beer mugs. I'm not too sure about me but what would your impression be if you saw someone wearing marijuana leaves on your socks? In my opinion, crazy socks are acceptable in certain occasions but Definitely not in a formal one. And number four, never wear socks that are either dirty or has holes in them. This one's a no-brainer, right? But I'm not going to lie, I've done this way too many times in uni. So guys, do yourself a favor. Go through your wardrobe and dispose any sock that smells or has holes in them because you're never going to know when you need to remove your shoes and the last thing you want is to expose your stinky feet as a guest. Alright, so that's out of the way. How should you pair your socks with your trousers? I'm going to split this into two portions, so the basic way and a more advanced way of pairing your socks to your outfit. Alright, so starting with the basics, which is the safest and most conservative way to match your socks to your outfit is to match the color of your socks as close as possible to the color of your trousers. So if you're wearing navy trousers, wear navy socks. Or if you're wearing charcoal grey trousers, just wear charcoal grey socks. It's simple as that. The keyword here is as close as possible because it's not easy finding socks that matches exactly to the color of your outfit or your trousers. And it's completely fine, you can always go a shade darker or lighter and your outfit is still going to look amazing. This is the epitome of basic and yes, it does seem a little boring but personally for me, I prefer wearing solids when it comes to more formal events because solids tend to be more formal in nature so keep that in mind. Alright so moving on to a more advanced way of pairing your socks and for you guys who think solids are boring, listen up. Personally I love wearing bold and patterned socks because it's fun and it shows a bit of personality and you should too. So bold socks often comes in multiple colors, there's the primary color which is the main color of the sock as well as secondary colors. Alright so using this sock as an example, you can see that the primary color here is a navy blue while the secondary colors are white, red, and blue. So when it comes to matching bolder socks to your outfit, just be sure the primary color closely matches the color of your trousers. But it doesn't stop there. If you really want to take it to the next level, try matching the secondary color of your socks to your accessories. Don't worry, I'll give you guys a couple scenarios with this pair of navy socks. Alright, with scenario number one, I'm pairing my outfit with a navy tie with small geometric patterns in red and silver, which is a shade of white, a white pocket square in the presidential fold, and a burgundy boutonniere. The primary color in this outfit is blue, but that pop of red and white from the sock really helps with picking up similar color tones from the boutonniere and the tie that really creates a complement in the entire outfit. Remember, the colors do not need to match exactly when it comes to matching. Just be sure the colors are in a similar tone or shade and you're good. Alright, moving on with scenario 2, I'm pairing it with a royal blue tie with white polka dots and instead of the white pocket square, I'm wearing an off-white pocket square with navy floral patterns with burgundy edges as well as an off-white boutonniere. In this scenario, the pop of white and red from the sock really helps the pocket square, tie and boutonniere to stand out because of the similarities in color tones. As you can see in both outfits, the secondary color is white and red so be sure to keep it to a minimal when accessorizing. A pop of it is more than sufficient and remember that it's the small details that brings your outfit to the next level. And guys, I know it's a little complicated at the start but honestly, it's about learning how to complement different color tones using different pieces in your outfit to create a harmony. So take it easy and start slow, add on more colors when you get used to the matching process and most importantly, 
have fun experimenting and wearing what makes you feel good. So that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new today. And if you did, be sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let me know down in the comments what you want to see in the next video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, stay dapper.